Hey guys, it's Cody Ryan. Welcome back to When the Lights Go Out. I've been getting a lot of your guys' questions about the gear it is that I wear, so I figured I would take the time today and do a video on just that head-to-toe loadout video on the gear it is that I bring into the woods. This series of loadout videos for you guys, so I'm gonna try and keep simple and to the point. If you have any further questions on any of the gear, message me individually and I'll be sure to take care of that and answer it for you. So I'll start with 360. So here's the front. Again, this is the covert loadout. Starting from head to toe, we have the notch hat. So this is made famous by these notches cut out on the sides. And what those do is if you have glasses or goggles, it kind of locks those into place and you don't get those wonky, your bills hitting the goggles kind of deal. Also, if you don't have glasses on, it helps you with your peripheral vision. So this is called the notch hat. These are Magpul sunglasses. They're ballistic rated, uh, moving down. Go ahead and this is a uh, triple out design CAD gear uh, Shamog. Let's take that off here. Show you what that looks like. It's tan and brown. It's got the mean T skulls on it. So CAD gear, just cotton. It breathes better. This is why I choose cotton over polyester. It's not as durable. Um, you can also use it uh, for char cloth if you needed to. Uh, there's just, it's more absorbent. There's a lot of uses for cotton shemog, obviously. On the back, this is the Triple Aught Design Lightspeed Fast Pack. So this is the smallest of the two versions that they make, the tactical versions. It's also got a weapon capture, the beaver tail, I believe they call it and it stores my 300 blackout rifle. So here's that. We'll go over that in a second. This is just a rain jacket, uh, Eddie Bauer. Nothing special. I like gray because it blends. As you can see, the black, which happens to be a 511 polo. This is moisture wicking. All of my layers are moisture wicking because it's hot. Uh, you can kind of see black doesn't blend in with anything in the surrounding environment. So this would only be an urban deal for me. I just happen to be wearing it and threw it on for this video. Don't wear black if you're in the woods, it doesn't blend. Moving down, this is a Haley Strategic um, DC3R Micro, I believe. And it's just a chest rig, holds three mags, so 90 rounds. Also have my Sawyer water, trauma shears, outdoor research gloves on a carabiner. Inside, bandana, fishing kit, uh, navigation, some wipes for my optics glasses, and a mirror for first aid. So this is just a super tiny chest rig. I was using the Hill People gear, but recently switched to this. I find it more comfortable. It's got an H harness, it's called. They make the ones with the X harness. Not a fan, doesn't fit my body type. Uh, a lot of pressure points and triggers in the neck. So I went with the H harness from Spiritus Systems. Uh, below, I just attach a knife. This is a Mora uh, Bushcraft Black. And that's just bungeed on there with a custom kydex sheath. So that takes care of the upper half. On my wrist, this is a G-Shock. This is their newest range man. So this has a solar assisted GPS unit inside of it. And I never have to charge it, but if I should need to, it's USB chargeable. And we all know how I rely on solar panels. So there's that moving down is my uh, GSO 
5.1 survive knives um, this is s30v steel amazing knife expensive uh, you pay for what you get like anything else uh, just a ferro rod holder this is on it's messy but it's on a custom kydex drop sheath so i wear hip belts i don't like to wear hip belts but when i do it uh chafes so i try to drop everything below my belt line and that kind of eliminates that chafing for me so this is a custom kydex drop and it just sits below even my shirt line so i don't need to worry about it it's just easy and accessible right in front to the left this is hsgi these are three taco pouches this is also their drop leg holster uh, another three mags i got two flares and a leatherman multi-tool this is a max Edition roly poly showed it to you in other videos and it's just a it's a dump pouch so i can stuff twigs and tinder or anything that i don't want to get dirty in my pack i got it on me simple easy uh this i just added so they use these to the military does to tether themselves in uh, helicopters so they don't fall out but it's just a bungee retention i'm kind of experimenting with this uh like grabbing a bunch of logs and then dragging it you could hook it to a buddy and you can drag them backwards while still laying down cover fire haven't used it extensively yet but it might come in handy and if not it looks super cool this has uh i believe kong makes it and all it is is like a pressure release and this is thousands of pounds so just a lanyard for climbing you could hang your pack with it uh, if you want to do a laundry line however you want to do it so that's that moving down these are fjall ravens this is the vita or vita pros however you want to pronounce it they are made in sweden you can see the flag and this is just a bomb proof it's called their g1000 fabric it's got knee pad inserts obviously when you're kneeling trying to make fire that is super helpful uh it's i love them they are super bomb proof they are cotton you can impregnate them with wax to waterproof them but that impedes the breathability of it and it doesn't actually waterproof them i've tested it i don't know how many times and can't get it to work so not worth doing that just note that they are not waterproof they dry fairly quickly moving down these are loas and they're gore-tex uh this is the gtx Zephyrs, I believe they're called. They're awesome boots, combat boots. Pretty comfortable. And all I have is a, if you can see it, just a ferro rod scraper on it. So that completes the top loadout and the bottom loadout. A note to mention there's no back pockets on these things, which is kind of annoying. You're losing out on two pockets. Something to note. Now we'll go ahead and move into the pack. So I'm not going to get super detailed on what's in the pack. This is just my EDC. I keep it in the Jeep. But I wanted to bring this along to show you how you can, how well you can camouflage a rifle. So balance it there. Had to do it maybe i'll put a cool sound effect in there so this you've all seen this in all my other videos all you nazis it's safe so this is just my freedom rifle um eight inch 300 blackout which all the rounds go to obviously three or one by four by 24 scope and no batteries so this is just a uh, it enhances the ambient light so never run out of batteries there flashlight there we go 
toilet paper, you never know. Extra bandana. Here is the beaver tail. We're not in the rifle configuration. And you can see how low profile of the pack that can be. So. Pop over here one more time. Front. There is the covert loadout. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to our tactical covert loadout video. You guys have been awesome with the overwhelming support and I can't appreciate it enough. So thank you for that. Keep uh, subscribing and sharing and make sure you hit the, the bell button up top if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the next video on when the lights go out. Be good, guys.